If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this ordinary bottle of wine into this lovely, sparkly, beautiful, housewarming gift bottle of wine, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today I am going to be adding some glitter to this lovely pink bottle of Sutter Home Fruit Infusions Wild Berry Bottle. This bottle is humongous. Um, it's 1.5 liters and I'm going to be using some Jumbo Mermaid Party. That's the name of the, the type of glitter. Um, Jumbo Mermaid Party Glitter and I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. And I think this is gonna be very cute. I tried to pick something that kind of matched the labeling. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm going to be applying the glitter with my Podge Glue. And I've already applied some to this little lid here and I have a sponge brush, which is something you would need, a sponge brush or some type of paint brush to apply. So let me go ahead and get this open. And I don't usually use confetti glitter. I did one bottle and it looked very, very pretty. So I decided that I was gonna use it again. I usually use fine or extra fine glitter. So if you have been sleeping on confetti glitter, you may want to wake up and try it out because it's actually pretty gorgeous. This bottle is heavy, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start applying my glue. I'm gonna go section by section. So I'm just gonna start putting a hefty amount Make sure it's nice and smooth. And shake some glitter on. And this is really pretty so far. I thought this had pink in it. Maybe it has a darker pink in it. It's looking like it's just purple and turquoise. But it's very pretty. And make sure you have an um, extra makeup brush just to kind of dust off any excess. Gently. Okay, so just watch me continue to add this first layer of glue and glitter. Okay, so just try your best to make sure that the glue is nice and flat and not too chunky or clumpy or anything like that. So you can just get a nice, flat, even, proportionate amount of glitter. And I didn't mention this before, but I ended up only doing one layer of glitter because this was so chunky it has such a great even coverage i didn't see any areas where you could still see the liquid inside of the bottle through the glass so i just did one coat and i usually do section by section right here but i just went ahead and put all the glue on there and just tried to work through it quickly not to rush but you guys this bottle was super heavy so I just wanted to kind of make sure I got that on there all together. And I think it worked out pretty good. So I'm back with this big old Sutter Home Fruit Infusions bottle. And this is very, very, very sparkly. It's very pretty. It has dried. And I knocked off what I think won't stay with my brush. And then I can go back with something a little sharp and clean it up a little bit more in some areas, but I'm not worried about that. As long as you can see that it says wild berry here, I think that's fine. Now, instead of sealing this with some Mod Podge, I'm gonna try something different. Yeah, I'm gonna try something different. I want this to seal, seal in, it's like um, pretty rough. So I want this to be nice and smooth. I'm going to use this product called Liquid Glass by TriArt. And people usually use this as like a setter to pour on their, um, their glass and their, um, their crushed glass and crushed mirror. And it like sets and it's like, a, it's supposed to be like a resin, but it's not a to it's non-toxic. You don't have to do that two-step pouring and all of that. I got this off Amazon for about 18 bucks. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to see how it seals this. Because I figure if it's called liquid glass, it should like seal this in and just make it stay shiny. So I'm going to take this little Dollar Tree brush and I'm going to cover this up and let it sit overnight and see what, what we get. I'm going to start at the bottom. And it's very shiny. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush this on. Okay, so I'm just evenly taking my little brush here and brushing on the liquid glass solution. And it's so sparkly and shiny and clear. I'm just hoping that when this dries, it still has that beautiful sparkly shine. In the past, I've used my Podge to seal my glitters. I haven't used it with a confetti glitter, but for me, it doesn't give it that shine. It's a little dull, but it does seal it in. So that's why I decided it would be cool to try something different. So hopefully this turns out the way I feel like it will. So we're just gonna let this dry for a few hours and see how that works out. dries I'm thinking that if it's really like a um, a resin finish I'm thinking that it should be smooth and very very crystal clear and shiny and just intact that's what I'm hoping for so I let this sit overnight and then we'll see what we get and then so while I'm waiting for the liquid glass to cure and to dry fully on the rest of the bottle with the confetti glitter, I decided that this would be a great time for me to go ahead and add some rhinestones to the top area. This cute little pink area, I have some cute pink rhinestones to match it very well. So I figured why not add these on just to top the bottle off. So that's what I'm doing and I'm almost finished you guys. Okay, you guys, here is the final and finished result here. And I really think this came out amazing. I have a little bit of crookedness on my line. I decided to go ahead at the last minute and trim out the label with the pink rhinestones. And I probably could have left that part off, but I really like the rhinestones at the top on that pink area. This liquid glass looks amazing. I'm not sure I could have probably turned up my ring light a little bit better, but I, I'm sure you could see some of the shine. It is very shiny. It is very, very sealed. And I just really like the way this came out. Like I said, I could have left off the pink rhinestones around the label of the wine, but it's still cute. It's just a little crooked after I looked at it after the fact. But I am really, really digging this confetti. I am really, really digging this confetti glitter. I like the fact that it has three different colors in it. I like the fact that it's so thick and the coverage is so full that I only had to add one layer. So that cut down on some time. This liquid glass is amazing and I bought it off Amazon. Again, I said it was about $18. So it is a little up there. But I went to look to go buy more and guess what? It wasn't available. So this can also be purchased on Blick, B-L-I-C-K.com, because I did order more. But I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. Share it on Facebook if you can. Subscribe if you want to. If not, thanks for stopping by you guys. Bye-bye. And just a little update. I did give this to my friend.
for the housewarming gift and she absolutely loved it you guys so this was a great hit at the housewarming so consider something like this for a birthday gift or a housewarming gift or just a, a just a I'm thinking of you gift thanks again bye bye